Welcome Libra to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition bringing messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Cross watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, nice and great as good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look. Spirit, please bring forth clear messages in regards to Libras and love for the month of January. What can you reveal to me about Libras and love for the month of January, please, Spirit? What does Libra need to know about their love life in the month of January? And if karmic energy wants to come through, please reveal karmic energy. Any kind of third-party situations. This could be career or finance. Any uh, information that is helpful towards my lovely Libras in the month of January. Thank you, Spirit. Wow, I see her Five of Pentacles. Now, overall, what I'm getting is that you feel sad, cold, lonely, uh, maybe a little bit depressed. Um, I have a feeling that... Um, Maybe there's a feeling of lack. Maybe you're not good enough. Maybe you don't have enough. Take which one resonates. And I see that you do have the key to make this change, but you're not looking up to uh, seek that change. So it's almost as if, you know, you're very stubborn, wanting to wallow in your sadness, not wanting to uh, get out of this uh, negative vibration. Okay. And it's in regards to uh, a state of duality. So uh, you could be juggling. Uh, there could be a couple of situations that um, is not making you feel very balanced. And because of that, um, you're not exactly sure how to open up with your feelings. Uh, I have a feeling that uh, for some, you're emotionally repressed. You don't know what to do. Uh, I have a feeling also that maybe this is a time to really reflect on your emotions. What is holding you back from pursuing a particular connection? Is it because you feel like um, there's a separation between you and this person? You really feel like uh, maybe uh, you're in competition with a, uh, another individual. But I really feel like uh, this is also financial based. And uh, also I see here the two of wands. So you have made a choice and uh, I see here the emperor. For some, you're done with an Aries. And with this particular person, um, I feel like you're strategizing. So uh, you're making moves, but you're doing this uh, methodically. So you're kind of like pre-planning being very careful about making your approach uh, towards this individual. Also, what I'm getting is that maybe you're not really uh, forthcoming with your emotions. Uh, you're keeping a poker face is what I'm also uh, feeling. And it's because you feel elated. Um, you're really happy. Now, you could be happy alone, but I really feel like um, you're feeling really good about your personal circumstance or situation. This could be your emotions, but there's one thing that's missing. There's one cup 
that is missing and that could be a, a person. So I have a feeling that you're doing well for yourself. But honestly, we have here the Five of Pentacles. So either you're in separation for, from a particular person or you're feeling lack. But overall, maybe uh, this particular person fills you up. Okay, maybe uh, this individual is uh, your wish uh, desire or their wish come true when it comes to you. And I see that you want to settle down. Okay, so for some, uh, maybe uh, you are um, a parent. Okay, and you're looking for a sense of loyalty. I have a feeling that Libra, you're actually by yourself. Okay, maybe for some, you actually do have a trusty little companion here, a dog. It looks like a Siberian Husky. Um, could be uh, a German Shepherd for some. It looks like a, like a working dog, like a large, a large dog. Yeah, I definitely feel like uh, there's children here involved. So, you know... Libra, either this is you or this is your person. Take it as it resonates, but you really feel like you can't do anything about the situation. Maybe it's because uh, your love interest here has a child and all you ever wanted was a sense of stability and security. And you really feel like uh, you have nothing more to offer. So it feels as if you've uh, tried to give this person uh, whatever you could and for some maybe you feel like you can't give this person something tangible in the and physical and it's possibly because there's no communication perhaps uh, this individual is not talking to you and they became really cold maybe this is you maybe you're you're cold towards this person and it's because you're not receiving uh, the truth and clarity that you need to make a decision because you're really not sure exactly we have here the seven of cups now you may have options okay you're trying to figure out what it is that you really want and you're feeling uh, this passion to kind of move things forward towards uh, possibly a queen of cups energy so you want someone who is open towards love, someone who is emotional, uh, someone who exudes feelings, someone who is more compassionate. And um, you're sitting here thinking uh, very deeply about what it is that you truly want. And you realize that maybe you've been selfish. Maybe you're only thinking about you. And I also see that you want a reconciliation. So maybe you're just afraid of being judged. This is a stuck energy. I really feel like no matter what you do, uh, there's a past person that you really want to open up to, but there's like a, a closed door. Now, you actually have the key to this situation, but you're not seeing it. Okay, Spirit is actually telling me that um, you can actually open this door if you really choose to. But I really feel like you're kind of stuck in your, your head that uh, this is something that you can't really offer towards this particular person. That's what I'm getting. And uh, maybe you're using this time to heal. Maybe you lost hope in a situation. And you're no longer being defensive. I really feel like um, you're doing some meditation. You're really uh, thinking a lot. Instead of fighting uh, the resistance uh, for a situation with a marriage. This could be a, a home. This could be a physical location. Uh, also, you're not feeling very stable. So it's your sense of security. Um, you know, I really feel like maybe for some there's a job change or a change in position is what I'm seeing. And uh, what I'm also getting is that you need the time to really reflect on what it is that you truly want. So um, I really feel like for January, instead of taking action, I really feel like now is the time to really hold back and really contemplate about what it is that you truly want and desire and not uh, try to move very hastily towards whatever that is on your mind. Now, in the middle of January, we're going through a Mercury retrograde. And so that's a time of review, renew, reflection, and a redo. So uh, I'm also saying that there is a past situation that is resurfacing. This could be an ex. This could be a, a past lover. And, um, and it's about... Uh, commitments 
it's about uh, personal beliefs. So I have a feeling that with you and this past person, you guys are not in alignment because you guys don't share the same uh, belief systems. And so you're going to make some observations. And I definitely see here a fire sign. So you could be dealing with the fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. And um, there's a particular person that you really want to pursue. But you're really uh, trying to get over this heartbreak. So maybe there's a past person and a new person that uh, you're kind of torn you're still uh, trying to mend your heart from a past relationship, but also there's someone that you truly desire, uh, that you really want to pursue, and you're using your intuition that there's something that needs closure. And what I'm getting is that you need to let go of a situation that you feel like you, you're attached to, and uh, you're slowly healing from being stuck in a situation and willing to work things out. So you're working on balance. And, you know, Libra, you're really good at balancing the scales. So let's go ahead and see what else. Okay, so what I see here is the wheel and it's in reverse. So what I'm getting with this is that perhaps there's a karmic situation that you need to close. Um, you really feel like this is kind of like bad luck. Maybe a bad chance. Um, you're thinking that there's a situation that you need to resolve before you can move things forward. Uh, I also see here in, in regards to how you feel um it's towards the queen of pentacles now you could be dealing with an earth sign but this this is a baby's mama so i have a feeling that somebody here was uh, either in a marriage or a commitment i feel like there could have been children involved so maybe there's um something specific where there's a family situation involved and um you really feel that whoever this person is is needy and codependent on you for financial stability and security okay and i see what you want is you want to move away from that particular person and i really also feel that you want to leave the past in the past and you want to move things forward and this is something that you're intuitively thinking okay as you uh, navigate uh, toward your new destination and it could be towards a water sign it could be a cancer okay so right now uh, you're really addressing how you feel deep down inside. I really feel like you've been keeping this to yourself. And um, this is feminine energy. You know, what I'm getting with this is like you're drowning in your sorrows. You feel like nobody really gets where you're coming from. And um, you feel alone. Now, we just had a passing of a, a new moon and Capricorn. And so this uh, energy is about security, stability. And you're kind of feeling lost in the abyss over here. Now, the challenge is for you to really open up uh, towards love. Maybe um, express how you feel. But I see that uh, in the outcome, you're actually going to be holding yourself back. So uh, because of a past person, I really feel like this person rubs you the wrong way. And um, that energy is actually uh you know preventing you to move things forward with your personal life i really feel like you're dealing with a karmic uh spouse okay or a past person you know um could be uh for you could be your love interest take it as it resonates but uh because of that uh there's a disconnect okay that's what i'm saying that's why you feel left out in the cold and you really feel like no matter what you do you can't win okay that's the energy i'm getting also there's something that you're not seeing and what you're not seeing is that you have the ability to communicate that um you want to let go of your burdens okay like you had it it's too much 
and uh, wow we have justice you know this is your energy so you are actually not in the highest vibration when it comes to this particular individual um you know whoever this is uh you may not uh be in love with this person anymore because i have a feeling that uh you could be getting a divorce or going through a separation for i can feel and it's not fair because i have a feeling that whoever this is this person is really codependent on you for financial uh stability and if it's not you it's your partner in question okay that's what i'm seeing so far so let's go ahead and see uh what is your person's energy towards you So I see here the Gemini, the lovers, okay, the four of pentacles and the five of pentacles. Again, very similar energies that I pulled for yourself. So you could be dealing with the Gemini. This could be your twin flame. This could be your soulmate. But there's a third party uh, situation that's interfering in the connection also. I really feel like this was uh, divinely guided, okay, and Archangel Michael is here protecting your union, okay, between you and your love and trust, okay, but um, I also see that... Uh, um, divine intervention is here also what i'm getting uh, with your particular person is that um, they have a hard time of letting go because they feel left out in the cold so i have a feeling that you could be in separation from your lover okay that um, you're thinking about this could be your past person or could be a new individual take it as it resonates but that's what i saw that fell on the ground so let me go ahead and shuffle <laughs> Barry, can you please reveal to me what is the energy of the person that is connected to the sign of Libra and love? What can you reveal to be me about the person that is connected to Libras and love? Thank you, Spirit. So again, your person wants to release their burdens. This person does too. I don't know who I'm channeling, but I have a feeling that this is like a spouse um, or the spouse of the person that you're uh, interested in. Now, um, there's a group of Libras that I've been channeling and you know somebody's married okay um that's what i'm feeling or getting out of a marriage take it as it resonates okay but that's what i'm seeing here so far so your person really wants to release um things that are really weighing uh, them heavy on their shoulders and again this is a marriage so um this is either you're in a marriage or they're in a marriage and you know maybe the both of you are actually in a, a relationship with a, a karmic spouse and somebody's getting a divorce or both you guys are getting a divorce and i see that you're not very clear or your person isn't very clear and uh, you could be dealing with a Virgo so whoever this person is they need time to think okay they're thinking wow again we have the lovers so it's coming out again so you could be dealing with the Gemini energy so whoever this person is uh, they're thinking long and hard about this relationship with you and they feel like they need to hold back they feel like they can't make that investment Okay, now I I don't know if that was your energy, but uh, let's see. I think that you also felt the same way as well. Like you feel like you can't invest into a situation. So I feel like you are marrying someone else that you're connected to. And yeah, it could be a baby's mama. So that, that's what I'm feeling. So whoever I'm channeling, okay, it could be specific. I really feel like... Um, this person they really want to tell you the truth you could be dealing with another air sign that they feel attached they don't feel like it's healthy um i have a feeling they want to release yeah they want to make peace and, and move on you know for some they want to travel overseas uh and that's for a few 
And what I'm getting with this is that um, they really want to uh, either move towards the connection towards you or move away. But honestly, um, you know, I feel like they want to give in. Like whatever happens, happens is what I'm hearing. And again, we have here the four pentacles in reverse. They realize that they have to let go of a situation. If they are, you know, too needy and codependent on a situation that they're holding on to, like what is it uh, are they really holding on to? And that's why your person is coming off cold, stingy, not wanting to invest. Again, we have, I feel like this is a married couple, guys, okay? Like it's in here multiple times. I'm channeling a married person here. <laughs> or someone who's about to get a divorce uh like i said maybe the both of you are actually in, in different marriages okay take it as it resonates but that's what i'm seeing and um they're they're really hurt you know they're defensive and again you guys are very passionate towards one another and i see that you know they need to change so there's a change there's a transformation that needs to take place you could be dealing with a scorpio and what I see is that for seven years, it didn't work out, okay? Um, this person feels like uh, they made uh, an investment that um, really didn't uh, work out. So it's a hard pill to swallow, right? That's what I'm hearing. And here we are again, Queen of Wands. I see, what is it that you truly are passionate? You know, and, and I keep talking to you, but you know, this is your person, but I could be talking about you because this person over here could be your uh, other individual but whatever this situation is uh, maybe you're dealing with the fire sign over here this person is a leader um they're kind of out in public this person is really beautiful um you know um they're very uh, like a social butterfly and you really like that about this individual okay and here we are with justice this is your energy uh, I have a feeling that they want to do what's right. They, they're very balanced. And um, this person really wants to either get a divorce and end it. Wow. So both you and your person are getting out of a commitment. It's very clear. Like you're making peace with the situation you know there's there's endings i really feel like somebody's about to put in some paperwork in january and it could be the both of you i mean take it as it resonates but there's a, a legal situation that that could come into play now it, this could be your energy because this is your card libra okay but you could be dealing with the taurus and I see that once you get, uh, once this person has a divorce or breaks free from a situation, then there's a new love opportunity. And then your person would be at peace. Because this person possibly doesn't have love for you anymore. I don't know. Um, that's why I keep getting, yeah, they, they can't really invest into the situation. There, there's nothing more to offer. So I have a feeling that I'm, I'm dealing with a particular person who is married, okay, and Libra, you're, you're getting a divorce, okay, I, I also feel like this is your person, this is, this feels like a karmic, you know, it could be, you know, your soulmate, but this is another individual and they're also getting a divorce, this could be towards you or towards someone else. And I feel like, uh, you know, someone here uh, wants to have a new love, either with you or with someone. Okay. And they feel like they can't offer what they were offering before in the past. And I really feel like it's, it's towards, you know, a situation that didn't really work out. Let's see. Wow. So, okay. Uh, they're thinking, okay, that they're not happy. They're not happy. And I also see that with you. Okay, we have the wheel in reverse. So you, you have bad luck. Okay, things are working out and this person isn't seeing something. So both you guys are kind of like in a dumpy uh, energy from what I can see here. Um, I also have a feeling that your person um, 
is trying to get to the bottom of something but they haven't quite got it yet okay so they're kind of thinking now how are they feeling is the world in reverse they need to close out some kind of a cycle okay you actually feel like you need to end a situation with a particular person who's needy and codependent on you okay and um your person feels like they need to end a, a connection okay um again you could be at a distance from your person there's travel okay that's what i see here or there's going to be travel or there will be distance you know take it as it resonates now what does your person want your person really wants to move things forward with passion they're very creative they want that spark you actually want to move things forward so both you guys are kind of like in alignment you know like i say whoever that this is either you know karmic or a soulmate you know both of you guys are trying to to get on the same page of music so that you guys can end situations so that you could be with the lover of your choice okay that that's the feeling i'm getting now uh with your person um i see here the high priestess now this particular person could be psychic they could be intuitive um you know this could be a twin flame if if you follow the twin flames you know divine feminine energy here uh also you know if the letters b and j are resonant with you it's it's showing up and uh what i'm getting with this is that um your person is using their intuition and soar you okay because i also see here the moon both of these are feminine energies so um libra you're really connected to your emotions but you're hiding it and this particular person is connecting with you so this is mind to mind connection you guys are telepathically talking to one another without having to dial up right that's what i'm sensing also the challenge for your individual is the king of cups in reverse they're really holding back how they truly feel they need to open up and i see that for you you need to open up and express how you're feeling so both you guys have some sort of attraction in regards to a love interest it could be towards one another if if that resonates or it could be towards a person of choice but i see that both of you guys are uh, going through the same difficulties of expressing love in the outcome i see that your person is wanting to walk away from the connection i see you're holding back your energy okay so um let me let me clarify this eight of cups wow we have another eight which is the eight of swords so uh they're trying to get out of feeling stuck about walking away and it's because they have a hard time of communicating to you so do you both you guys have communication issues you're not speaking your truth uh about you know what it is that you truly want you know nobody's opened up with their feelings you know you're keeping your emotions to yourself you know i feel like there's divorce on the table here okay things are not fair this could be you this could be your person but you know like i say take it as it resonates this is a generalized reading right but this is what i'm seeing so far and um yeah your person is really holding back they don't want to come forward towards you um they're really uh uh, using their intuition so they really want to okay they sure as heck do want to move forward but in reality they feel like they have to walk away that's what i'm seeing guys let's see so what does this person desire when it comes to you We have role play someone's been very bad it's time to learn your lesson dang um <laughs> is this a good role play or a bad role play because i can see it going both ways also we have here thrusting lay down and spread your legs let me take control so your person wants to take their anger out on you right and also we have possess that ass is mine so um you know i have a feeling that there's two different energies that i'm picking up on i really feel like there's a past person and also there's a new person um there's a past person that really uh feels like uh, they they control the situation with you or they feel like they do okay and um 
they want to teach you a lesson. And I'm really taking this in a negative way. You know, I normally don't feel that, but today I do, unfortunately. Okay, now this whole thrusting thing, you know, lay down and spread your legs. Let me take control. This person is very controlling. Okay, so <clears throat> in a positive, uh, you know, perspective, yeah, uh, with your love interest, the, the positive one, um, there could be some of that thrusting action. But I have a feeling that um, you're dealing with someone who is very possessive of the past, who wants to dictate, you know, how you think and feel. Um, and I really feel like it's an unhealthy attachment. Both of you guys know this, and I really feel like it's time to kind of, you know, settle uh, these uh, burdens or uh, things that are really, you know, weighing you down is what I'm feeling. Okay, that's why your person isn't um, approaching you because um, they really want to walk away from the situation. I really feel like um, there is a push and pull energy dealing with the past person. And I really feel like it's a marital partner. And um, both of you guys kind of know that, you know, maybe it's time to just part ways, right? Mm. That's what I'm getting. Let me know if that resonates. But that's what I'm seeing here so far. So let's go ahead and see what is the love language. Spirit, what is the love language of the person that's connected to Libra? What is this person's love language? Okay, so whoever that you're dealing with, okay, taking care of you. Um, automatically what I was sensing is that maybe this person is a nurse or they're in the medical field or healthcare. Um, if they're not in that sense, this person, uh, their love language is, uh, really, you know, doing acts of service and taking care of you and your needs. Okay. Also what I'm seeing is a proposal. Again, I really feel like this is a spouse. Okay. Um, you've been with this person for some time. I really feel like, uh, it's been like, I want to say seven years, give or take. Okay. That's a drill number. I'm just calling it out because it did show up, but you know, and I see here eight months, um, your person. Okay. I feel like they're either in a commitment or they're in a commitment with you and their love language was taking care of you. So, um, that was kind of like, um, like, you know, kind of like an old way of thinking, like your person had expectations that um, you would take care of them, okay, and their love language is like maybe uh, they're expecting that, you know, if they took care of you, that you would take care of them back in return, and that's what I'm seeing, okay, again, let me know if that resonates, now let's go ahead and see what's the final message that wants to come through. Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the message that wants to come through for my Libras in love? What is it that you need to know about this energy that is coming through? Thank you. Oh, huh, that's a lot. <laughs> we have happiness. You bring me more happiness than I could ever imagine. Also, we have left hanging. I'm sorry for leaving you hanging without any explanation. Wow. You know, I have a feeling like whoever you're with, you were actually in a relationship with this person. You guys were happy and then ghost, right? It's like, what the heck? You know, where did this person go? <laughs> um, you know, this was divinely guided. This relationship is being divinely guided and protected. Now, mind you, remember, I pulled that Gemini card, the lover's card. This was divinely guided by Archangel Michael. Okay. So, uh, you know, take it as it resonates. But there is a lesson that needed to be learned between you and this particular person. Also, we have longing. I'm longing for the other half I have lost. So maybe there's a sense of longing and a reconciliation. Seeing you again reminds me that life is better with you in it. Wow. I have a feeling that maybe you're dealing with a push and pull type energy. This is a past lover. Okay. And this person wants to come back like i said uh we're gonna go through a mercury retrograde and i wouldn't be surprised that a past person pops up between now and and february i'm seeing it 
And if this uh, this could be a baby's mama or this could be somebody, okay, where you had like this kind of energy with, you know, and I really feel like, you know, somebody here was in a commitment, okay? Also regret. I regret the things I should have done but never did. So you could get a confession, Libra, from a particular person that they want to reconcile with you, okay? And um, this person has been longing for you. They really feel like you're their soulmate, you know? Um, they left you hanging. They they didn't even give you any explanation, you know, and maybe this person was afraid because you made them happy and they, they didn't know happiness until they met you and they were scared and they ran from you. That's what it looks like, guys. So I really hope that this was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.